Hi YouTube, my name is Monica and welcome to my channel. I have a really fun item to review, so let's get started. It is Too Faced La Creme Color Drenched Lipstick in Unicorn Tears. I'm really excited. Look how beautiful this packaging is. Oh my god, there's a rabbit. That is precious. Oh my god, that is so cute. It's got the little heart that says Unicorn Tears. Too Faced has amazing packaging. I'm not even gonna lie. So, let's see what the actual tube looks like. It looks just like the other lipsticks from this line. It's got the little color circle with the name right there. So, yeah. Just a very pretty, sleek, gold packaging. You have a very durable, what I'm assuming is plastic. And this is the actual tube of lipstick. Oh my god. You guys, that is like haunting. I'm gonna do that terrible thing where you just kind of like see how much product there's in here. Let's see what the box says. It says there is 0.11 ounces. All right. Oh my gosh, you guys, can you see that? Okay, so you definitely see the blue, but you also see like purple, um, pink undertones and some sparkle in there. It's definitely very iridescently, iridescent-y, holographic. It is gorgeous. Okay, so I can't know if you can tell, but I'm not wearing anything in my on my lips. Sorry, this is a little uncomfortable looking right here. Let's test this on my lips real quick. This is actually really pretty by itself too. I'm actually completely amazed by how cute this is. Of course, I'm pretty sure the intention is for it to be on top of something, kind of like a lip topper probably. But anyway, this feels super smooth and creamy and like buttery almost. It's got a very faint smell, like a vanilla lemony, but it's very faint. It's nothing that I can smell that now that it's on my lips but I could definitely smell it when I was applying it to my lip. Anyway, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a couple of different lipsticks and different shades and different textures, and I'm going to put them on and then apply this over them. First one is this Lipstick by Lipstick Queen in the color Bright Natural Center from their Satan Center line. All right, now that's on, you can tell how pretty the color is. It's just a very nice, subtle nude. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this over it. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to drag some of the color off, which is okay. That's why we're trying it out. Anyway, so I don't know if you guys can tell, a lot of the lipstick came off onto this, which it doesn't really bother me as much because I can probably just take a makeup wipe and wipe it off. Yeah. Okay, so let's look at my lips real quick. It's definitely less iridescent um, since it isn't by itself anymore. You can still see the glitter and like the really pretty blue tone. For being like a super pretty sparkly lipstick topper, this is actually still fairly subtle. Alright you guys, the next lipstick I'm going to be trying on with the Too Faced Unicorn Tears is going to be this lipstick by Estee Lauder. And the color is in Candy Shimmer. Still have glitter on my lips. It's also a very shimmery lipstick. Okay, so that's Estee Lauder by itself. Sorry for all the shimmer that's like attacking my mouth. Anyway, so let's take some unicorn tears and cry all over my lips. Oh my god, that is gorgeous. I have a reason to wear that lipstick now. Okay, I don't know if you guys could tell, it completely, like, completely up the shiny zone, the glitter zone. This thing is just like a unicorn had birth in my mouth. Okay, that's the amount of lipstick that came off in the process. Okay, so now we're going to switch to liquid lipsticks. First liquid lipstick we're going to try on is the Steel Stelia. What is that? Well, you can see here. There we go. Bashi. I'm gonna go with Baki or Bashi. Okay, as you can tell, not a color I should be wearing. It washes my lips out like crazy. Let's get some unicorn tears on this Baki Bashi hoo hee hee hee. Oh. Y'all, look at that. 
look at that so you definitely see the purple you definitely see the blue the glitter is looks like it just melted into my lips too and also there wasn't that much lipstick that came off on the tube so the next liquid lipstick we're gonna use is one that has a more satin finish even though it says matte everyone knows this liquid lipstick it's by Revlon so it's in the color do 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 passion let's see how unicorn tears deals with the Revlon liquid lipstick face is covered with glitter that's how much came off it's really pretty um you can see a little bit less of the blue tones but it does have that really purple gleamy too um unicorn tears just broke on me look how much came off you guys that is so annoying it's definitely my fault because i think i put too much pressure on it when using the makeup wipe <sighs> Alright you guys, and the next look of lipstick I'm going to use is this very deep burgundy reddish vampy color. Um, it's one of the Tarte lip paints and it's in the color Fremony. Alright y'all, this definitely got all over my lips. Um, without, a li without a lip liner, it's really hard for me to apply. It just gets everywhere. So we're going to go ahead and see how much comes off. That is so depressing. Okay, so a lot came off, that was expected. There's like a chunky chunk over here. The purple tones definitely come out more with the darker vampy shade. I really love it. So that definitely left a tint on and around my lips, but that's okay. Our next color is gonna be this NYX Soft Matte Cream Lip in the color, do 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 do. Havana. For the NYX lipstick, I had to actually add two more layers to make it a little more opaque. Of course, still not that great. Holy Jesus, you guys. That is beautiful. This is how much came off. Not gonna lie, this is freaking gorgeous. Um, Some of it did come off over here. Alright, you guys. I'm so sorry for how messy and glittery everything was. Um, overall, this is a super, super cool product to have in your collection. It's gone over really prettily over everything that I tried on with it. It's really pretty by itself. So the cons for this is that it creates a little bit of a crazy glitter bomb mess around your mouth. And it's not very attractive unless you like the glitter all over the face appeal. But otherwise, it's pretty cool. Also, it does take off the first layer or two of the lipstick you're wearing. I definitely do not regret spending the money on this. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry this was quite a hot mess of a video, but I really appreciate you watching this. Please like if you liked it, and please subscribe if you like me. And if you don't like me and you don't like it, it's okay. I totally understand, but it's getting better, you guys. I promise. Uh